Hello and welcome back to another video. So in the previous video we were concentrating on the footer. So if I just move down the page. So we've created the actual footer wrap and we made the wood on the background a lot darker. We then created the footer content and we centered that in the middle of the page. So the next thing we're going to do is going to add in all of this content inside of the footer. Now as you can see there is a menu here, so we don't need to recreate this. We can just copy the, the code from the menu up here at the top. So that's going to save us a bit of time. So the first thing we're going to slice out of the footer is going to be this Twitter bird. So if we just zoom in, so we can see the bird here. So we just want to create a slice around the bird like that. And then we just, I just need to pull this up so I've got the whole bird inside. Uh, maybe pull it off to the side slightly. That looks good to me. So if you now double click on it. So we're going to call this Twitter bird. And then click on OK. So we've now named that. So if we hit the V key to go back to the move tool. So this tool at the top here. And if we just zoom out slightly with control and minus. So as you can see here, we've got this speech bubble. But the bit of the speech bubble is protruding inside of the slice for the Twitter bird. So we just need to click on that, on the actual speech bubble. It then gets selected over here in the layers panel. And now we're just going to use the arrow key just to nudge it out of the way of that slice. So that's now out of the way, so that's fine by me. Uh, so we've got that portion sorted out. So if I just zoom out slightly with control and minus, and if we just look at the actual footer, I think the best way to sort this out is if we create uh, two sections. So if we create a left hand section and then we create a right hand section to add in the content. So now we need to make everything transparent apart from that bird. So if we click on the Twitter bird and I'll jump to it over here, the Twitter icon. If we hold down the Alt key and click on the I symbol, everything disappears apart from the bird. Now we need to do File, Save for Web and Devices. And then we need to come down and select the Twitter bird and change the preset to PNG 24. And you can now see it's all gone like a checkerboard, transparent background. Click on save. And then you need to make sure that the selected slices is selected at the bottom. Click on save. And that's now saved it into the images folder. So if we just jump over to Visual Web Developer. So if we just move down the page. So here is our footer content where we're going to store the uh, the left and the right hand side. So if we just go to the source view, if we create some space and we can create the following bit of code. So we're going to say div id equals footer left. And if we create our comments at the end. And then if we just copy this code for the right hand side and then just change the the values. So we're going to call this footer right. And then change the comment. Okay, so we've now got the two divs. Now we just need to add some content into them. Just create a bit of spacing. So if we just come over to the Solution Explorer, if we look in the at the Images folder, you'll notice we can't see the Twitter bird at the moment, but if we hit the Refresh button at the top, you can now see the Twitter bird drops in place. So what we need to do, we need to style the, uh, the left and the right hand side. So we're just going to come over to the Style Sheet. So in here, we're going to say any ID with a footer of left have the following properties. So we're going to say Float. To the left, the height is going to be auto, and the width, as a rough figure at the moment, we'll say 400 pixels. So if we just preview that in the master page, so you can now see here's our div footer left, which is now 400 pixels wide, and it's got auto height. Now the reason why it's that small is because there's nothing inside of it. Uh, so we need to style the other one now. So if we just go to the source, 
copy footer right and go back to the style sheet and then underneath the footer left we'll create another one so this is footer right and we're going to say float this one to the right again the height will be auto so it expands and contracts and we'll say the width will be 450 again we can change these properties later so if you come back to the master page you now see we have these two divs perfectly uh, next to each other. So inside of the footer left, we need to add in that uh, Twitter icon image. So if you come over to the Solution Explorer, if you can't see the Twitter bird PNG file, just hit the refresh button here at the top and then it'll show you the actual image. And if we just drag that into position, and then if we go to the design view, so as you can see now, the Twitter bird is in the position by simply clicking on the Twitter bird icon, dragging it over to the document, uh, and it appears where you want it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave the video here, I'm going to create the next video, upload them both at the same time. So as usual guys, thanks for watching, thanks for all the comments, and I'll catch you in the next video.